I am Chandrakant MV. I am a medical oncologist working in Narayana Hospital, Calcutta. Well, in this coming one minute, let us have some small view of what all lung cancer is all about. Well, uh, when cancer happens, organs which are not vital, for example, I have a breast cancer. So, in breast cancer, the treatment is easy because I can surgically operate the breast and get rid of it because these are, this is not a vital organ for me for survival. I can live without breast. Tongue cancer, again you can remove the tongue and get rid of it. It is easier to treat. But when cancer affects vital organs, where these organs are required for my survival, then comes the problem. Lung is such a vital part where is required for me, where the oxygen enters into the body through this particular organ. So having lung cancer is a big problem. I cannot remove the lung because without it, I cannot survive. So when cancer affects vital organs like lung, brain, kidneys, it becomes a problem because my vital function, even liver, here comes the problem because vital functions are at stake. So lung cancer is one of the most common cancers in the world. It is a, higher, it is a leading killer. It is that the problem with lung cancer is when a patient of lung cancer gets diagnosed, he usually gets diagnosed in a fourth stage disease. If I have a small nodule in my lung, I won't understand, I won't be able to perceive it. The moment I feel the difficulty of breathlessness, cough, it is already spread beyond the area of treatment. It is beyond cure. So this is the unfortunate thing of lung cancer is majority of them present with a systemic disease already spread to bone it becomes fluid brain and liver so it is it is a difficult to treat disease because we cannot operate it and it affects vital structures breathing is a problem it affects breathing so the survival of an advanced lung cancer just 10 years before was around three months there was no treatment. So lung cancer was a death statement for a patient. Lung cancer means it is good enough not to do anything, be at home and count your days. And then came the evolution where we gave something called platinum based chemotherapy. With this platinum based chemotherapy, we could extend survival of six to nine months and that was fine that uh, patients were taking treatment then they had improvement in cough but the effects were very short term and, and, and transient and then we found out that for two different people lung cancer is not the same each person has a lung cancer of his own type then we came to know what is known as personalized cancer treatment like one medicine won't work for all patients for one patient, one tablet works, for another patient, injection works, and for another patient. So, for every patient, the treatment is so personalized. Like, like it, it, is, it, is my, it, is, it is the behavior of the tumor of an individual is so different, different biology, mutations are different. So, then we came up with what is called as mutations, driver mutations. So, if I have lung cancer, I may have one of the many mutations. Today we have more than 10 mutations where each mutation has a targeted drug. So now if a young lady who is a never smoker around 30 years presents to me with lung cancer definitely she would have had some target mutation and what we call as the EGFR mutation. So with this EGFR mutation what we give is no surgery, no radiation, no injection, no chemotherapy, just a tablet, TKI, giving this particular tablet, will she'll be fine for more than three to four years. So even, even diabetes requires insulin, but a lung cancer, just with simple tablet, she can have a long survival. So this is because of what we call as personalized cancer therapy, finding out what is the gene underneath and giving medications to target each of these genetic mutations has really helped in improving survival. So targeted therapy with personalized cancer treatment has revolutionized lung cancer. And lung cancer is not a killer just the way we thought 10 years before. Now it's more like a chronic long-term disease with improvement in survival 
with just tablets and one more thing what has happened in the last one or two years is what is called immunotherapy immunotherapy has done a magic for lung cancer the unfortunate thing with immunotherapy is there is no proper biomarker if i give immunotherapy for a patient i cannot say that this is going to work for him we don't know which of the patient benefit with immunotherapy or who do not benefit with immunotherapy so the biomarkers are there but they are not so perfect so if i give immunotherapy it works in 30% of patients but mind you in those patients it works it works for long it works it's not like chemotherapy where i stop and the Im- it, it, the treatment stops working the immunotherapy works even after the completion of treatment so this is how the lung cancer treatment has evolution has ev- evolved from a simple chemotherapy to targeted therapy to a more personalized tablets and now we have immunotherapy which is really revolutionized treatment and lung cancer is not a killer even if it's stage 4 so this is promise there has been a lot of promise in drugs coming up with this hope uh, we can have an outlook of treating this deadly disease with these minimal modalities